Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, the C1 Chaser 120 centimeter flying wing that I just uh, finished uh, building. Yeah, this is all about uh, yeah, for me a training wing. Um, I haven't flown a wing before, and uh, this is just to make sure that I have learned everything in a, in a, in the cor in correct way. And uh, uh, yeah, this is a cheap model, so it's no big issue if I crash it, and I probably will. But uh, uh, actually, I think this is a really really nice uh, flying wing. Yeah. I bought it on eBay for like uh, uh, like no money. It was really cheap, uh, and uh, the model itself is uh, kind of nice. Uh, it comes in uh, white color, uh, but I have uh, spray painted it in black. Just wanted to make it a little bit cooler. I don't know if it really became any cooler, <laughs> but uh, that's the way it is. I cannot uh, reverse it now. Anyway, this is for training. So, just wanted to show you. This is like no a no brainer. It's uh, it's a standard wing. Um, uh, what I am uh, planning to use on this one is uh, the APM uh, three point one mini <coughs> flight controller. So I can uh, program it with uh, with the different flight modes and uh, and also um, have some experience on how that works. So, as you can see, it's a nice wing. I can put it on the floor so you can see it. Um, it's kind of a standard setup. Uh, have the uh, servos inserted in the wings here. Uh, underneath there, you can see they are integrated in the in the <coughs> wings. And uh, also, I have uh, uh, installed some uh, LED strips, so it will be easy to see top and bottom. Uh, yeah clean simple install and everything uh, glued the wings to the main body and uh, of course it has this carbon fiber uh, um, rod uh, for stiffening everything and it has two holes for holding it when you throw it in the air uh, in front it has uh, it came with several tips so i can have one for the camera one without camera um yeah and you said see the ear intakes here and this is also uh, for extra protection and if you want to uh, if you want to use um, uh, a line or, or something like that a rubber band uh, something like that to shoot it up in the air uh, but it, actually it's uh, big enough to just throw it up let me show you inside <clears throat> I haven't installed the APM yet because because before you uh, install the APM, you have to know that it is uh, set up uh, correctly so it flies uh, smooth and, and everything is uh, okay with the rudders and, and everything. So first of all, I'm gonna fly it uh, with the, um, uh, the Hobby Eagle A13L flight stabilizer. And I have some uh, yeah, it's traditional receiver for the uh, for the Futaba. As you can see, I have a 40 amp uh, ESC. There's nothing uh, special here. I I made this plate uh, over the tunnel here, so I uh, and, and I fastened it with Velcro, so it can be taken off. Wow! I have to glue that uh, <laughs> glue that back on. Anyway, that's uh, kind of a straightforward things to thing to do, and, and then I can have the battery beneath here. I haven't mounted any FPV gear yet because that will come when I uh, when I will mount the uh, FPV mini. This is a yeah quite uh, nice uh, uh, top here, so it just clicks in place, and uh, there's no like yeah, rubber uh, strings or anything to mount it, it, it set, sits really good in here. Okay. Just looking at the back, you can see the motor, it's a, I think it's a 2816 motor or something like that. It's a quite, a, quite a powerful motor. I'm gonna run this on 4S. And uh, as far as I know, this will fly uh, very stable and nice. and. Uh, could also carry some uh, FPV load without any big uh, problems. Um, 
on the wingtips it has uh, some kind of a bend here but it doesn't go up like many of the wings do today um, and uh, when I buy a new one I probably will, will buy a Skywalker X8 or something like that maybe a um, uh, yeah Th there are lots of choices out there I also have uh, um, watched some, uh, some other models I have to consider when I'm going to buy a, a new one yeah um, Actually, really nice. I'm looking forward to fly it, uh, and of course, uh, I will bring you flight videos from the Maiden and uh, the setup of the APM and so forth. So please keep on watching and, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.